here. <laughs> I was just petting a cat. All right, today's gonna be, it's gonna be a quick video and we're gonna be doing some um, temporary solar panel rack mounts, okay? Right now I do have a temporary solar panel rack out there that I made, <laughs> uh, I think it's been almost two years now with just some crappy wood that I had out sitting by my wood pile. I, of course, intended to change it much sooner but I couldn't get around to it. And then a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month ago, I started setting up for my next solar panel uh, array in the backyard over here next to the other ground mount. Um, I'm basically going to mimic that array, you know, like I think it's like 10 or 12 feet away from the other array. So I can have two arrays out there, which I will string them together, which will technically be one array, but there'll be two racks with five panels each. Um, about a month or so ago, I did auger the holes out for my six by six posts. However, the ground has since frozen and I'm not able to, to put those posts in the ground very well. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit of time for the ground to thaw out so I can put those posts in the ground a little bit better. But basically it's still going to mimic the array that's out there. So today we're gonna to be setting up uh, two temporary solar panel racks, the EG4 bright mount racks, which I don't even know if they're gonna offer these anymore. I went to their website because somebody mentioned that they are not listed on Signature Solar's website anymore. I went over there to check and yeah, they're not listed on their website. So I don't know if they are discontinuing them or if they're just completely out of stock. I'll probably just send them an email and ask them to find out, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I have a couple of these bright mount racks and we're going to temporarily set those up today in the backyard and I'm going to be setting up two of them so I can put four panels on each, okay? So last night I stayed up a little bit. So last night I stayed up a little bit later and set up all of these parts right here. This is basically two racks worth and these are the newer ones that are adjustable. Right now I just have them sitting at, I think it's a 30, 30 degree angle or whatever, and that's just, just so I can put everything together. And of course this is not a like a how-to video, you know how to properly install some solar panel racks because this is all temporary until the ground thaws out, okay? It's just temporary, it's how I'm doing it for now. All right, and then my temporary mount, which you'll have to excuse my fourth grade diagram, is this right here. All right, so I also went to Menards yesterday and bought some lumber, some treated lumber. And I bought four 10 foot four by four posts and I also bought four two inch by six inch by eight foot boards so I can set this up. It's just gonna lay flat on the ground, but this is gonna be the rough shape. So I've got the four by fours laying across the ground and then I've got the two by sixes, you know, strung together this way. I am gonna cut one foot off so I can make my total length around 14 feet. With that cut off, I'm going to screw that down to combine these two. And then for these uh, mounts right here, since there's eight of them, I'm thinking on setting or mounting each one of those basically where the four by fours are. So there'll be a rack right here, and then there'll also be a rack right here. Um, I will probably try to put these boards fairly close to the ends, just so I can get the arrays further apart as I can. All right, so I got all these parts right here, and then I've got the, the rails and stuff right down here, and then there's a few other parts in there. I have a whole nother video of how I installed my first EG4 bright mount rack. If you wanna know how to put this together, you know, go watch that video. All right, so here's the lumber that we're gonna be using today, except for the bottom two six by six posts. Those are gonna be for later on whenever I do set up uh, the array for real. Today is temporary mount. I've got four of these four by four posts and then the two by six by eight foot posts right here, okay? Here's all the solar panels and stuff that I do need to set up eventually. And today is uh, not negative 24. We're actually above zero. I think it's around, it might be about 19 degrees. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is gonna be the area where we're gonna set up that temporary rack. There's the old temporary array that I need to take down for this. 
Uh, the only thing that I'm, I guess, kind of concerned about is none of this area is completely flat, but we'll just have to figure that out once I set it up. Here's the other array that is set up. Um, this is basically what I'll be mimicking later on, you know, when it gets a little warmer. I do have four augered holes down here. I just have to kind of watch out for those so I don't fall down and get caught in any of those. That's where we're going to be setting up the temporary array. Alrighty, let's get to it. Actually, I probably need to, I need to take down that other array first. Boom, and just like that, the old array is right over there. Uh, next thing we're going to do, oh, I did find my holes that I augured, which one right there, one right there, one underneath that little wheelie cart thingy, and then one underneath that circle. Just have to remember not to step there because I don't think they're very well placed. Okay, uh, next thing we're gonna do is bring out the other wood or bring it over and start laying everything out and screwing it all together. It should go really quick. We all know how that goes, right? Alrighty, that's looking pretty darn good. What do you guys think? I mean, besides the muddy mess. Huh? Yeah, you think that's gonna work? I think it is gonna work. I think it's gonna work really good, actually. I mean, the only part is obviously the panels are going to come down a little low up in the front, but I could potentially, uh, you know, just slide and mount the panels a little higher up. But other than that, I think it looks really, really good and it should not interfere with this array back here at all in the location that it's at. Now, um, one potential problem is I am going to get shading on these panels right here but from here on out you know we're headed towards spring and summer so the sun is going to get a little higher in the sky and hopefully clear it's mainly this tree right through here that's the biggest problem but once we get you know in the summertime and all that kind of stuff I mean this is going to be full full sun uh, again, not until basically 11 in the morning, but still, it'll be full sun from then on out. Well, actually, <laughs> it'll get full sun, you know, until it's right over there. In the summertime, the sun actually goes down way over there, so that's okay. Yeah, okay, so let me explain everything here, um, if you want. So all of these are basically spaced 51 inches apart, okay? And then obviously since this is a 4x4 and the mounting plate obviously is much bigger than that, which I knew, I just mounted at least two of the lag bolts going, you know, through this one and then into the 4x4. These ones, yeah, you know, they're sticking out the bottom, but that's all right. I'm sure it'll be just fine. And that's pretty much the same thing for every single one all the way around. Everything is sitting at, I think it's a 30 degree. Uh, where is it at? There's too much mud over there. Uh, let's see, yeah, right now, I don't know if you can see that, but it's sitting at the 30 degree mark. I could go down to 35 or 40 or 45. Of course, if I go any further down, you know, I'm gonna be practically on the ground, which is fine. I mean, I didn't plan on going 
much more than 30 anyway because the array over there is the stock array and I'm pretty sure that's at a 30 degree right now as well. So I was thinking of that whenever I was putting all this together. And then in the summertime, I could potentially, you know, bring it up to the 20 or 25 degree mark that it does go to. I don't know. I think this is looking pretty darn good for a temporary, temporary solar panel rack. Do we have any takers or bets? of how long, you know, if I left this here and didn't do the four by, or the six by six post like I did over there, how long do you think that this will last in its current, current build status? It's not, you know, staked to the ground or anything like that. I guess if um, this ever does fly away somehow and it goes into the neighbor's yard, Honestly, I doubt they would even notice and I would have plenty of time to go over there and get it. If I did potentially leave it here, because I'm kind of liking it, honestly, I would stake it into the ground and I would level it a little bit better. Yeah, I'm not going to level it perfect right now because, I mean, it's winter time and uh, there's still snow, you know, under th underneath some of those over there. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, if I need to do any sort of like tiny tiny leveling then I'll do that whenever I mount the panels but for right now I'm just gonna leave it and speaking of panels um, I'm not gonna tell you which panels we're gonna do quite yet because it's for an upcoming video it's not the serious bifacial solar panels it's something completely different so I am gonna need the extensions which I am gonna have to either order another extension or probably just do this on one of the arrays because I do have one extension. Uh, if you're not familiar with the extensions, I've actually got it on the other side. There's one of the extensions. I do have one more set of these, which I had originally planned on putting it on the array that's gonna go over here. Uh, but now that I'm using two, things change all the time. At least with me they do. I don't know, I just like to to test things out, I guess. All right, anyway, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this video. And I think in the next video, I, I'll probably have some panels mounted on here. Alrighty, well, put your bets down in the comments section. Don't forget to like that smash button on your way out. And I will see you on the next Um, um, um. 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 Alrighty, I don't even know if I was recording, so I'm gonna do it all over again.